Hey artists, do you wanna be a nuclear bomb of productivity, but you just can't muster the motivation right now to even pick up a pencil? Well, motivation actually isn't your problem, and no, I'm not gonna lecture you on discipline or any jock talk like that, but it is something else. Welcome to Our Mentor, my name is Sean, and artists just don't do a good, meaningful job of talking about this subject and giving actionable advice. So today, I'm gonna to revolutionize the way that you think and the way that you approach your art making so that you can be the artist that you always want to be and deserve to be, and it's gonna start with understanding this. The first step towards you being a powerhouse of artistic productivity is that you have to stop relying on this thing called motivation. You have to stop waiting around for inspiration. You have to stop externalizing all of those forces that are supposed to turn you into the best possible artist so that you can sit down and you can crank out some amazing, beautiful stuff. You see, the main thing that you need to sustain and you need to build is momentum. And it's just like this. Think about if you've ever had to push a car, okay? It sucks in the beginning and it's really hard and difficult, especially if you're going up a hill with it. But once you get that thing going, it's a lot easier. So it's the same thing with art, y'all. If you start to consistently take steps in order to do the things that you you want to do in order to make amazing artwork in order to improve yourself then you're going to gain momentum where you're going to feel good and you're gonna feel more confident and you're gonna feel more inspired and more ideas are gonna come to you really easily you have to stop externalizing your productivity you have to stop blaming outside forces on why you can or you can't produce artwork all right so here's the real reason why you can't get anything done why you don't feel inspired why you absolutely just feel like you can't produce anything today it's because you're accruing negative momentum this is when all of your efforts are just piling on top of each other and they're stressing you out and it's building up and it's sort of like you've got a dam of all of this stuff that you wish that you could do but you just can't get it done I can think of it best like this have you ever just missed a bunch of assignments in school and then you just sit down and you're like man I just can't get all this stuff done because you're just so stressed out about it have you ever tried to start eating healthy but then you go to McDonald's or Burger King and Wendy's in a row and then by the fourth time you're like ah screw it I might as well just go to the Chinese super buffet instead it's just like that the key to you being the artist that you want and building into that person is this. You have to destroy your negative momentum. You have to do things that are going to just nudge you out of that zone. You have to take steps. Make sure that you are not accruing negative momentum, but if you are, my friend, it's okay. You can get out of that. You don't have to stay in that. If you are gonna stay in there, that's a choice, and that's a really empowering moment for you to have right now because that assumes ownership. That shows you that you can can get yourself out of there if you choose to and if you follow and create these really great habits right here then you're going to be able to bust out of it and it's going to start by you doing this the number one thing that you as an artist you need to establish first before you take any action whatsoever is this y'all what do you want what do you want to do with your art what do you want to be what are your goals what are your aspirations what are your dreams what are your targets if you don't have a target if you don't have any type of actual concrete measurable example of i want to be this i want to do this then you're never going to hit it so just think of it like this when you have aimless efforts you get fruitless results that's why you see artists floundering and you see artists going from perspective to landscapes to painting to color color theory and just things that don't make sense they're not interconnected so if you just say something ambiguous like oh I want to be a better artist that is not going to get you there because hypothetically if you can draw 1% better then you've hit your goal but if you say I want to be in concept art I want to illustrate for Magic the Gathering I want to make card art I want to go ahead and I want to join a AAA game company then you have a clear measurable target you have something to lock on to you're like a heat seeking missile for success are you clear on your goals and what you want to do do? If so, let me know what they are down below because I love to hear about it. Now that you know your target, here's how you start to build some really healthy habits. Whenever you sit down and you start to create artwork, do you ever feel like this massive resistance, like you're just feeling opposed to actually going and doing the thing? Well, here's my number one strategy for you busting through that. What you wanna do is prime yourself for success. And here's what I mean by that. Remove all resistance from you starting. One of the things that I do is that the day before, I know that I'm going to go home and I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna set up everything that I need. I'm gonna get my models ready, I'm gonna get my references ready, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set up my drawing tablet, I'm gonna make sure everything's plugged in like that, so that when I come home, all I have to do, boot, I just gotta turn it on, open up 
my files and I'm ready to go. So if you take steps to minimize the resistance, you're going to feel more compelled to sit down and do it because you have less excuses. If you have kids, I understand, I have kids too. So this can be a little bit more of a tricky situation, right? Or if you have a spouse or anything, if you don't have it in a closed space, again, what can you do about it? Can you prepare all your materials? Can you make sure that you have some part of your setup to go here? Can you make sure that your brushes are clean? Can you make sure that your paints are good and ready to go for you so that you have, again, less resistance, you have less excuses to sit down and say, oh, I gotta do that before I start? If you prime yourself for success, then you are going to feel instantly more compelled to actually go and get it. I do this with everything. Do you do anything like this? And to further avoid more excuses too, make sure you take care of that. You might be in some circumstances that are less than desirable. You might not be exactly where you want to be or on the trajectory to do what you want to do in art, right? But here is a reality that I want you to come to so that you can empower yourself to get yourself past it. Your current efforts will only reproduce your current results. You can pull yourself out of where you are right now. You can work towards being something better. And here's the thing, the next time that you just have a lousy day, the next time that you are feeling downtrodden, the next time that you are feeling like there's just nothing that you can do to create a better future, my friend, I want you to examine the opportunity cost of that. Meaning that you're gonna take a look at what you're doing right now and what you could be doing in five to 10 years from right now and just ask yourself this, is sitting down to watch Netflix worth it for me not living that life? Is it worth it for me right now? Am I willing to give up my future so that I can play 10 hours of Elden Ring right now? Is it worth it right now for me to go ahead and distract myself by doom scrolling on social media instead of working on my craft, which is actually going to bring me a better life and a richer, fulfilling experience? If you're in bad circumstances, listen, y'all, I've been there before, okay? And I've felt like you have too. And the way you get yourself out of it is by turning around all of those into opportunities for you to succeed. And to help power you through this, y'all, consider this. Think about not what you're gonna do today, not what you're gonna do this week or this month or this year, but just think about five to 10 years from right now, where could you be? So there's a key strategy, y'all, borrow from your future. When you think about your future, and when you think about all the amazing things you can do, like when you sit down and you just think like, wow, I could be a professional artist. You're gonna think about all those amazing experiences that you could be going through, right? And from that, draw energy. So literally like draw energy from that potential future because if you do that, you're again setting a clear target on, I want to do this. And then you're going to allow yourself only to produce efforts to bring you to that place, to bring you to that destination and to set you on a trajectory towards that that, rather than curving you away from that or falling into mediocrity or falling into scarcity, that's how you get through rough circumstances. That's how you grow. That's how you succeed. And that's how you build yourself into an amazing artist. And if you follow this one day, my friend, I promise you this, y'all, you are going to get there. Y'all don't believe in luck. Believe in yourself and what you are capable of. And I know that might be a little rough for you too, but it's because artists have to operate like this. From the get-go of being an artist, one of the hardest things that you have to do is, is that you have to submit to the fact that you're gonna live a different lifestyle than everybody else. And from that, you have to live with an attitude of just complete blind faith, that you're gonna make it, that you have potential, that there are gonna be opportunities, that there are gonna be jobs, that there's gonna be a sustainable life for you, that you can keep art meaningful and alive, that you can succeed in spite of any circumstances or any technologies that come out, right? You have to have absolute blind faith in yourself but from that though you gain an insane amount of confidence and you gain the ability to look past what others think and to oppose others socially imposed structures of what they believe you should be and what you should do but when you do that y'all you can do something that most people can never dream of which is actually stepping into who you are because you as an artist you can't separate the artist from the artwork and that's one of the main things that i do in my art mentorship program i don't divorce them they're interrelated and they are married subjects i even look at this not only with my art but also with my channel like at the time of recording this you might notice that my voice sounds funny because I'm struggling with some allergies. I'm also extremely tired. I'm working on a lot of projects and I got a lot of stuff going on right now. But I'm committed to every single week pushing out this content 
for you because my thought is this, even if this video helps one artist, then I feel fulfilled. And if you also feel that this video is helping you and empower you, if you could please hit the like and subscribe button right there so that this will get pushed out to more people just like you, that'd be amazing because I definitely feel that more artists need to hear this. Now to help you combat everything that's going wrong in your life, y'all, I want you to bear this in mind. Whenever you hear a really inspiring, motivational story about somebody that just built themselves into an amazing human being, it never started like this. Well, I was born rich, I was super privileged, uh, I got everything I wanted, my parents loved me, and I just got everything handed to me on a silver platter for my entire life, and that's why I'm amazing. No, they always overcame incredible life circumstances, hardships, and also a lot of doubters and haters. That's how you can operate too. If you choose to view your challenges as an opportunity, that is life testing you. It is not meant to put you down. It is not meant to keep you down. But if you look at it that way, then it's going to be that way. So instead of looking at your challenges like they are prisons, look at them as opportunities for you to grow past them. Because in doing that, you prove to yourself your worth. You prove to yourself what you're able to do do. So take a look at the opportunity cost of challenges too. And one of the number one challenges facing artists right now is definitely this. Ever since AI came onto the scene, artists have been tremendously downtrodden. But please, my friend, borrow this perspective instead. Here's your opportunity to go ahead and recognize and improve everything about your artwork. Take a look at y'all what you need to do to build yourself. Because one of the number one things that AI art did for the art community, it really shined a light on what our flaws are and where people's comfort zones were. Because there were a lot of artists that were in a very nice comfort zone of their rendering styles and really simplistic mechanisms that they could have fixed, but they chose not to. But AI art coming onto the scene, it really pushes you and it makes you and it should make you think about what you need to do what you need to target and where you can go with your artwork because if you do that y'all you are gonna be one of those artists that go ahead and they just blast past AI art in fact I just did an entire video on everything that's wrong with AI art is always gonna be flawed and will never be fully fixed which you can go ahead and watch right here and also down below but y'all don't succumb to this AI art friend is nothing new there have always been forces that seek to take people away from pursuing the arts. This is just another big shiny package for people to go ahead and chase. It's really nothing new. This comes about every 10 to 15 years, and this is just this one cycle right here. It's not going to be forever, and there's always going to be a way that artists can go ahead and supersede it. It's not that hard. But here's the reality, y'all. You are never going to get there to that place where you can make those big changes unless you go ahead and you take responsibility for this. The number one complaint that I hear from pretty much all artists is that they just don't think that they can have enough time. They look at their schedule and they're like, oh my God, I've got so many things to do, y'all. But let me just put you at ease, friend. There is a way for you to always make time for your artwork. And I want to go ahead and I want to shift your paradigm so that you can grow into the artist that you deserve to be. It's going to start by you watching this video right here for some awesome tips and amazing advice on how to do it. So go check it out.